smart. She is so kind and so beautiful. I'm so lucky to have a sister like her. Vita moved to the U.S. from Iran 10 years ago with the dream of becoming a scientist. She always care about other rather than herself. She landed her dream job as a lead scientist at GE, and she got sick. After enduring months of tests and visits to the hospital, she was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer. She got worse and worse. She had problem with um, breathing, um, with eating, um, with everything, and then um, nothing could help her. After three rounds of chemotherapy, it wasn't working. After a while, you get numb. That I, I can say, you know, like and you see this person is suffering the whole time, and you cannot do anything about it. With her condition worsening, her parents living in Iran applied for emergency visas. Vita's mom's been by her daughter's side since the end of November, and her dad's application was denied. It's been 10 years since he's seen his daughter. My sister said, OK, I cannot see my grandma, but I wish um, I could see my father at least, you know, before I'm dying. The family says they were denied based off Section 221G of the Immigration and Nationality Act. It says the emergency visa application did not meet the standards of the consular officer where the application was submitted and offered no more details. Her friends and family now coming together to make sure her final wish becomes true, pleading with the State Department to reverse the decision. It's an emergency. I mean, for God's sake, my dad, he's losing his daughter. and He just wants to see his daughter and he wants to go back. Now, we reached out to the State Department. They wouldn't tell us why the application was denied, saying that visa records are confidential under U.S. law. Therefore, they cannot discuss the details of individual visa cases. Kyle. All right, Tyler, thank you for bringing us that story. Now, it took the family a month to have the original visa application process. Beta's friends and family are also taking to social media right now, trying to get her dad here to the United States using the hashtag Help Beta Reunite. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.